now that upsets are a very real thing and we're gonna have some surprises yep. sneaking their way into first strike we've got our agent select now ready to go here exalt on that breach going as expected here i like what i'm seeing so far Yep, everything so far so good. Quickly giving you a bit of an insight what we so far know from Elevated NRG when it comes down to bind. Their composition in most cases looks like, for Elevate now, a Breach, Cypher, Omen, uh, Race, and Sova combination. For NRG, when we talk about bind, once more, only four times played, but always the same. Cypher, Jet, some Omen, Phoenix, and Sova. I like it a lot what we're seeing here i like the music too today we got we got the sweetest production setup I, i'm really excited for it we're gonna be chucking some replays into the mix we got two Everything. observers going for us it's gonna be a lot of fun two observers one producer i mean we hired an entire crew and uh, please if you want to give them a shout if you want to go for them exclamation mark production leads to this outstanding crew leading the charge but right now it's about time to see who's going to lead the charge in round of 16 who is gonna be chucked down the drain and who's gonna leave victorious to finally find a spot into the main tournament or in first strike yeah energy already starting off aggressive here four ghosts just the cypher gonna be rocking some armor for himself and they're gonna be set up mainly over towards the b site but it looks like miniature was able to chuck a camera up in hookah activated that one pretty early so not sure if NRG know what's gonna be in there i made sure a wonderful cypher cam one of the most useful ones. I I really love this little piece of technology he uses. And as you see right there, our second observer doing a brilliant work, taking a look, a camera for the cam. But either way, NRG are taking their long way, and the long way is literally coming over on B. That has been the tripwire, and now the aggression has been pretty much initiated. Yeah, they're not even messing around with Hookah. They're just four players down long, sneaking onto the site. And it looks like Elevate want to play this slow, so not the same aggression you're seeing from them yesterday. Instead, all backed away into halls, into elbow, and they're going to wait for the retake and the rotations from their teammates to come out as the spike has been planted. Spike yep, that spike has hit the ground. Effie's pretty much doing that one safely, and we see right now a quick look on the top bar tells us zero damage has been dealt in the beginning. Not a slightest bullet has been exchanged. Not one wound has been created whilst capturing the site. So the retake potential yeah. is right now massive on Elevate. Seems like they have a good bit of knowledge, but Collar uses his Molotov quite brilliantly. Shooker has to move for the cage anytime soon, and Miniature gets the first. This is opening it up. Effie's falls, and that is the omen. The smoke potential actually finally denied. He's gonna pull through. Miniature is still trying, but falls, and now it is all the chaos created. It ascends over Let on the B site and as all the frags come in the defense is weakened and Bancroft falls the first one comes in for energy as chaos seems to prevail yeah energy just all holding hands in octagon right there and of course with the smokes going down they made sure they had that sova dart ready to go so they could just spam miniature as he tried to defuse the spike from straight through the wall and there's just not a whole lot you can do there if you are elevate they weren't able to take a lot of players out at the start of the round so simply backing away going for the spam was the best option there from nrg and you can see no fear in their eyes either they're gonna have a vandal they're gonna have a phantom light armor on both kohler and eu here well, the rest of the team is going to be kitted out buying some pretty hefty smgs as well oh wow <laughs> it's a wonderful wonderful that's Pillages. a Spectre, right? You, yeah. They just triple TP through the through the port right there. Pick themselves up a Spectre. They were all rocking classics. Aye, not a aye, whole aye. lot of money there. Maybe a Vandal too if they can get it. A very good point, but this might even pay off. I mean, to that degree that Elevate dealt big damage to their economy. And Elevate also come out with one proper assault rifle. That's yeah. the Vandal in hand, as you mentioned. No, it's great, right? And now the question is, Elevate, do they just hold on to that Vandal? They're going to test their luck here and see if they can get one pick. If they get a pick, then it makes it so much easier to enter the site. Dart will spot out a couple in the backside. It gets one tick off, so they know they're there. EU, though, is locking uh -oh. it down. And the problem starts to occur right now. It is Biotic Rain who's still alive. And Effie's got to hold that angle, and it is enough. The burst into the chest of Biotic Rain brings them down, but the casualties have been massive. Yeah. And it seems like at that point, the investment you got to make 
it's got to be fairly, fairly costly. Take a look I at mean, that who one. cares about winning the round? Like, that was a full-on force for NRG. It wasn't even like they were rocking, like, stingers or anything like no, that. No, it was, it was specters. They had double, double assault rifles and a bulldog, too. So NRG, only with one player surviving that can carry that into the next oh, round, means that spot. Elevate are in a beautiful position coming into this next one. And again, it is that aggressive defense from Elevate. Three TPs at the start of the round. They didn't have anything to lose, so why not go for it? I really like their style on, the, on Bind. Yeah, we had it yesterday where, where we mentioned the aggressiveness. The kind of room... The, the the kind of the, the kind of room they take as a defender that can work out so brilliantly. And it seems like to pay off to some degree. As they diminish the opponent's economy. Uh oh, poor Shirker is tacked. And it might be just a matter of time until this man is dead. Pops the first grenade, makes sure that nobody's coming close, and now the aggressive setup has started on the A site. Yeah, Bancroft is able to slow it down a lot, sending the run it back back, also with the blind and the kill on a short. Still holding it down with two kills into the round now. The third with Exalt helping out, but this player on Tetris, Kohler's gonna shut him down. Yeah, it's not done yet. Kohler is so much on point right now with his shots, as the third headshot in this round is putting putting him in a better spot. This does not change the matter of fact that it is still Biotic Rain, clutching it out in the end. Elevate, finding the first, and the expedition to A side has been cancelled. Didn't yeah, work out at all. I, I was doing some research, right? Because I wanted to figure out what Biotic Rain was, or if it was a reference to anything, and... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have you know that the term biotic refers to any living thing within an ecosystem. And, you know, will often come from a rainforest. So that's my best bet at things, but clearly it's living rain. I don't really know how that makes sense unless he's playing brimstone or something and call that uh, ulti. You know, I, I really was just trying to make it work, and ultimately I think his name makes no sense. Okay. I'll have I to ask it, him after the match. You, 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 he's running down darts. Okay, you know, sure. see it that way. Look at this. Well, Pushing down B-Long. It's, it's raining down bullets oh. here, Ender. And, well, it seems like the B-Long control belongs to them. This does He's not necessarily mean it's successful, as though Daps and his teammate Refis are struggling. The man who's still on trial, who definitely needs uh, the big numbers, or alternatively, the big plays, to and put a difference into the process of NRG, who still look for any success in the first strike process. Talking about it, Effies is on the hunt. Matic Rain was able to escape for the time being, and now the rest of Elevate are going to be rotating over here. Hafiz will do his best to try and put the spike on the ground, but it's really hard to get a oh, plant no. off. He's down to two bullets, and players coming at him on both sides here. This one is all but over. Cover going out. I wouldn't call it all but over, because the man is still on 100 points of health. And, you know, with enough timing and maybe a slight bit of luck, he might be able to dodge race. Well, I'm talking about it. That ain't happening. The push is coming from the side. Sprancroft falls. Another two left and right. He did not lose too many points of health here, Christy. Yeah, not seconds. too he bad. But in. again, they know he's an elbow and he would have to cross the aim of the, Sugar he here. He's going to have the teleport to get on over. Does he oh, fake no. it? No, he's now going to sprint on over. He has 20 seconds to get the spike on the ground. He'll have time to get the plant off. And then the round becomes much more playable for him. Elevate played it a little aggressively, trying to shoot him down, but that's exactly where you want it to be. No teleport, though, on Effies, but he does have the From the Shadows to work with. That's disgusting. I mean, that's a brilliant way and a brilliant move here from Effies. To get himself into a spot like where this peak. might be all winnable. Very decent peek indeed, and very good usage of the fruit bomb, but they still gotta take the side. Biotic Rain starts, they're coming through. This is a tight angle over there left. First rack found, the second though denied, as it's suddenly no more bullets in the clip. As the magazine runs out, it is the second, but those rounds are tight and this is not the best of a defense so far. Yeah, I will say uh, at the end there, uh, Effie's did a lot of work to knock two weapons off the side of Elevate, but this is something that, you know, they're gonna have to keep their eyes out for. It's that three-man push down B long we were talking about before the round starts. It's a very common play we're gonna be seeing from Elevate a lot on the defensive side. Just watch where Exalt Breach is gonna be heading. And that usually will signal some form of aggression coming through from Elevate. So now they know that play is an option. They'll be looking for that one and just simply spreading out around the map to try and see if any early play is going to come through from Elevate. And Effie's, by the way, being a man who previously known for all the North American Counter-Strike nerds, and for example, likes of French Canadians, Ghost Academy or District 7, where he himself had more of a coach, pardon, more of an in-game leader role. 28 years old by now. 
trying his luck in Valorant, so far has ended quite decently. Ooh. What has not ended that decently has been the push out of bathrooms. That's two yeah. that. And Bancroft well. boosted up, pretty hard to deal with there, so NRG had some room. Gathers, they pushed in towards Hookah. Som's gonna get blinded for the time being, and now NRG, mostly on pistols, gonna try their luck here in the duels. Mm, Who wins oh, one? That's, costing. Yeah, that's dangerous, but... Well, Shukert knows there's more danger waiting around the corner. Some has, in the meantime, already One taken the side. As though you try to exit. <laughs> you see? He actually got outmoved by Exile. I think he just came over his right side that moment. His shoulder was turning. And Color, by the way, he had nine frags when two rounds have been played. We played three more, and nothing has happened with him so far. Yeah, we'll see what he's able to do here. And uh, <laughs> that angle from Bancroft, you can see, he's just playing a lot of these high high angles on, on A site. You know, earlier he was on the, the truck over by a default, of course, was playing boosted right outside of shower before that. Them. And it seems like Miniature is just going to be posting up his tripwires on the exit of shower. So if they don't even have to put much pressure down over towards that area. Bancroft can just lock down A short and... Miniature could decide to leave Take as flight. soon as they get some information on these B players. And if there's no big massacre happening early on in this round here, Ender, I think that those five ultis on the NRG side should pretty much open up the opportunity of finding a third. It, on paper, that should be pretty much opening every door. It doesn't matter how thick, doesn't matter how fat, how well fortified that one is, you should come through it. But we're going to see 60 seconds left. So, I mean, they have a lot of ultimates to work with. Bancroft is just going to use his to scout outside of B. That signals the A he hit. Knows. Run it back is available for Kohler if they want to use it. And the smokes are out. Energy are on the site. Ah, uh, and danger coming close right here. Bancroft and Co. have to find a way to retake the site. But this is a quite good ult. Biotic Rain knows how to make it rain. It's electrifying what he pulls down over on the site. As Kohler's down to 70, that only is his ult. No worries about it. Cannot even find a frag. And this might just cause a bit of an issue on the side of Elevate, as they still have not any access to the site. Everything has been locked down. The walls are quite thick. The walls have been turned up and all those possibilities to enter the site fully denied. It's the time ticking here, Ender. Yeah, Kohler got the kill on Bancroft in heaven, and now he's going to be rushed down by the rest of Elevate, but there's two players I playing on exactly A short. They're going to be ready to lock down this spike. And eight, eight points of health right here from Shooker. The ult also coming in. It's not going to be that easy as one after another falls. It's the round done in this thing. Third yeah. one while well playing here by Energy. It was just a really good post plant right there. You had Effie's as well as uh, that uh, as EU Sova, right? And Effie's just just there to guard uh, at you while he's popping the Hunter's Fury, right? He's looking for that one, stopping the spike from being diffused. Very nicely done from NRG. Is once they knew there wasn't going to be any sort of flank play from Elevate, it becomes very easy just to play off the site completely with that long range laser beam. That long range laser beam it is, and well. As it's a back and forth, no real ultimate solution has come up for any of the teams. Still trying to figure out how to adapt to their opponents as for now. Ah, uh, that no. could be a quite good opening. Yes, it oh, pretty much no. is. Oh, no. I know exactly <laughs> what What a way. Yeah, you saw the owl coming in, had to deal with that, but energy have already gotten back onto the site. There'll be five players trying to retake, and I love this. The Both the players in showers from Elevate have looped all the way around towards A short, and they're going to try to pick off Effies. Yeah, and especially right now, the thing is they got Exalt with his ult, and he should be able to open up a lot of room. Nobody should be able to escape, though I'm quite let's sure go. Kohler is not affected by it. And as you say, let's go, it's tried to dodge, and seriously, Kohler was not affected. EU waiting back on side, tries to lock it down further, as though Last the nade hits him, it's finally dead. Well, Effie's try, I try, but Effie does not stand a chance. You said it, five men retake, and the Cypher without a head as he pulled it off. Put the rabbit out of it. That's the magic trick. Yeah, I mean, it was just really nicely played, right? As soon as that uh, that owl drone was able to bait the uh, the attention of Daps's cipher, he got immediately deleted outside of showers. And then you had both Miniature and Bancroft you realized, hey, we can actually just give up a site completely. As you mentioned, the uh, the Rolling Thunder there so easy to retake the site, especially when you're coming at 
energy from both directions, right? With, with the Omen and the Cypher looping all the way around towards A short, it was a little bit too easy, and there were too many different directions that NRG had to uh, be focused on to actually hold off on that post plant. Very much indeed. And so there's the round. Gives them a slight advantage. Ooh. Talking about it. Uh, if that really paid off, that's worth a question. Some though already close yeah. in Hookah, and I'm not so sure, Ender, if they got him on the radar. Yeah, I I wasn't able to quite catch that. I do know that Elevate were really trying to greed for that ult point, because as you can see, the Showstopper is now ready, but of course they lost Shooker during the process. Bladestorm is out now. Or Som, if he wants to make a play happen. I really like using that to attack from Hookie. You can sort of jump off that box and peek backside just a little bit. There they are. Especially when there's just a Spectre in the hands of Biotic Rain. It's going to be hard to, for him to take that fight. He still got one Shock Dart, at least. Going out. With the players to maximum 70 points off power. Let them lose all the armor, but I mean... Poor lad is isolated, and Som oh. is trying to take the high ground for sure, trying to come over the clouds, has no chance for Biotic Rain, and a site that has pretty much captured and conquered. Exalt left. returns back and elbow, he goes, and that might be the call for a safe. I think that might be the only reasonable choice in this. Oh, I mean, Bancroft has the flank, so does Miniature, so it is possible uh, coming at multiple ankles, but at angles, rather, not the ankles, especially with Miniature getting yet another kill. I think the Elevator are going to try for this one. They very much do. And you see right there, it's still the concussion that's coming from Exalt. Same by the way with the charge he has in hand. So dealing damage into the left hand corner could be an opportunity. He tries to see if anyone even dares to do so. And there they find the frag. It's EU falling, oh, running out of bullets. It's a dragon who wants to eat up more bullets. But Effie's denies. Exalt still is on his own. Can check the right angle and collar. He got it. Secured and under the belt. But once more, it came down to the last seconds and only to the last player. Yeah, I mean, right there, it, oh man, Exalt was so worried that someone was playing an elbow, but Energy had everyone, again, playing down long. It was just that Kohler never really made any noise down there. Like, I don't think that Exalt had any idea that he could be playing inside that tight little corner, but that seems to be the name of the game for NRG whenever they hit that B side is plant for long, play long with multiple players, and try to just spam through and really use those darts to, to make good work of it. That's going to put... Elevate into a pretty tough position here. They're not going to have True. much to work with in this round. And this is when they'll get super aggressive. We saw them go for the TP plays in that second round. And you can already see Miniature already down oh, a no. short with Bancroft just behind. I have to say, Ender, it is extremely vital at that point to Joke's over. try You're something dead. with this aggression. Oh, because no. The thing is, the thing right here is their economy is pretty much, you know, at this point, fairly bad. Trying to deal something on NRG would be decent. Finding a fifth would be decent, but it's the momentum that might just come in from NRG, and this could become a problem in the long run off this half. Yeah, so Bancroft just teleported over one of those uh, trips, but I believe he was hurt out and Daps was able to punish him. I actually thought if they committed a little bit harder to the flank early on, they may have been able to pick off one or two guns shooting from behind because that flank came out so quickly. But as soon as you wait the 15, 20 seconds for actually committing there, well, then all of a sudden NRG, they put the spike on the ground. Now they're going to be considering what are the flank options coming through from Elevate. So they uh, slowed things down a little bit too much, I think, and it... Made it really hard to punish with any of those pistols. Yeah, very true. And <laughs> yeah, he who gets two for one. A great deal. Very valuable. Shock dart. <laughs> was that, that, was that was my best, best attempt. Word? That was my best attempt. I'm not going to try again. <laughs> Do you know actually the nationality of him? Of uh, Sova? He's from Russia, no? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was just making sure. If that was your Russian accent, <laughs> I would very much like to hear a German one. What would, what would be a German accent? Uh, you don't want to hear my German accent. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not I going. Can do it. <laughs> I can do it anytime. You just have to tell me, Randy. You want to do this? We can do this this way. Uh, you I'm know what? what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respectfully <laughs> decline that option. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Germany checks out. Either way. It's the ice that they're hitting, and I think they pretty much found the position they feel quite comfortable with, as this defense seems to be on quiet, shaky legs. You see somebody's already in ha heaven, and well, a site belongs to them in a matter yeah, of Yeah, well, seconds. I mean, Exalt does have the Rolling Thunder, right? But he gets dropped by Kohler. That's oh, huge. No. Right yeah, there. It is. Two for one trade for NRG. Miniature running away at 53 uh. HP, but there's two on him. He's not going to be able to do anything. 
Well, if they don't do magic like Houdini, I I very much doubt that this is going to be a round they can be successful with. Daps waits on short. The shock dart puts shock him down to dart. three. <laughs> and again, the best Russian impression is killing the man Bancroft as he was pretty much ripping his ears out for the last three points of health when you heard Andrew do that. <laughs> he, he accepted the void willingly to get away from the commentary, no this doubt. Is, <laughs> this is where you see that you are from NA, because you didn't you didn't have to take years and years and years off Russians in matchmaking in Counter Strike. That's for true. Example. And see, look, now I just play uh, Valorant, and it can't even. They are muted. It's so sad. <laughs> you dodged them all your life. <laughs> Bit unfortunate here. All right. Well, we'll see what Elevate can do. It's been a couple of tough rounds, not a whole lot. Again, Bancroft and Minister just trying to sprint up short, but now they're actually going to run into go. Daps, I think. Ooh, and they get them. Exactly right. Hey, those are fracks that must just hurt, as though it is still an energy in the lead and a round away from already taking the half, making it look also beneficial. It is big time damage that has been dealt. Yeah, a couple of these on save the rounds that have been pretty impressive from True. Elevate. Thinking back to very early on when they were able to remove a Vandal and a Phantom from the hands of NRG. Now it's just Kohler here with a friend in some to see what they can do. But this is hard. Playing down B long, especially when there's a breach involved, he can look for that flash out. If he's got the utility oh, ready the to nades. go. Oh, yeah, the nades are tough. Anything. Yeah, no chance. I mean, that was pretty much... A dead end, and there was no way he's gonna ex really exit that that easily. So I'm just trying to bunny hop around the map whilst this is just opening up an opportunity to run to A. Bomb down would be very beneficial because the after plan could work in a way that he isolates them in one v ones. Though I would not necessarily say elevate does those mistakes. It's gonna be the spike kissing the concrete. The timer is now ticking. Spike planted. Yeah. How aggressive does Psalm want to get? It looks like he wants to push forward, take an early fight, then maybe try and play uh, towards A short. He's going to swing around the corner now, and that's three people. That's not what you want to see ouch. at all. Does Psalm know? Elevate play together, and that works for them again on the A retakes. That'll take them to five rounds. Carrying three rifles over into this one will be really nice as they head into the final round of the half looking to tie things up. I have to say, those rounds for Elevate round actually have, have this sort of mentality where, I mean, what do we have to lose? Like, yep. right there, they're, they're, they're taking Breach, says, you know what, can you please concuss down, fill the fountain? This, those are the rounds where I feel they are so comfortable individually, because so far they are, they seem on par. It's not like we see a major individual shift or, or, or something between yeah. both of those parties. I mean, if we are going to see a major shift, it's on this final round. Bancroft, just with light armor, going to be trying his hands on an operator. Sam will have one for himself, too, here on the jet. Camp to bait. The op comes around, but Kohler's just better. Miniature with a good trade. We'll try to equalize things a bit, and he escapes with the operator. I know exactly Cage at the right time. Tiny detail that obviously is very beneficial to the cause. So the hat has been thrown. Cypher suddenly... He's looking for his head aware, but it gave him a tiny advantage. They definitely know at least a few seconds ago where everybody was waiting them. Miniature in the meantime takes out his counterpart as no clones are allowed on the server. Yeah, Rolling Thunder is still available as Biotic Ooh. Rain sniping out EU, his counterpart there with the Hunter's Fury. Exalt now trying to take the site. The Showstopper as well. They see the final player hiding Brilliant. out on short. This should be over. Yeah, Sam has no way to escape. There was no route for him that has been opened. And it is a tied up Switching half. Guys. Switching over right now as Elevate are in a spot where this combination is, you know, it, it's such a classical combination they run, right? The composition is so typical in its way that I, I personally also think that by now, this is a long discussion, dear Ender. But from just the entire abilities to flash and actually make fracks, I think still breaches over phoenix but yeah i mean yeah in terms of like the actual discussion. power of entering a site with three flashes I yeah, think yeah that's yeah. gonna be very good but in terms of playing you know you know kohler plus som or someone playing together you know around smokes too i think that phoenix has some cool plays that you can definitely go for here if you're playing a little bit more skirmish heavy but i agree in terms of like the actual site take itself True. unless you have the run it back it's a little bit more challenging with the phoenix We'll see what Elevate can do here. It's very clearly going to be an A hit. All four 
tagged up here inside of showers. Maybe they just want the orb. Do they just do the escort <laughs> orb do. play? You know, you go to mm -hmm. showers, then you go down B long. There's not going to be an orb there. I think NRG already picked that one up. But the more Rolling Thunders you can get on attack, the more rounds you are sure to win. And the thing is, right now, you see it on the minimap. It was NRG who were very, very hesitant about rotating over on the side of A. They definitely dedicated to it right now. It seems like maybe this is the impact off someone who is as as experienced as Daps to say, you know what, this is one of the cheapest fakes I've seen there. We're not falling for that, as now the rotation once more is immediate. Yeah, okay. and you look at it, it, it's just a Jet and a Phoenix holding down B, so not really great at really locking down this site. Phoenix is playing in that pocket, so a good little pop flash could be good news for Som to play off here. He gets one. Uh, there it comes, but Som even more actually puts it out in a situation where there's a slight left. advantage, or quite decent advantage, actually coming in for the defenders. Oh, As the, the shot hits, hurts. You gotta believe it. Oh, no. I mean... Oh, what a dramatic ending of this. Seven round it is for NRG, and the single dart, single bit of voltage that is bringing down Elevate Streams. It's funny, right? Because I think early on uh, in the first half, we saw Biotic Rain was winning so many of the aim duels with, with the Sova, was able to pick up a lot of frags early on. I think five of EU's eight kills are with shock darts. At least four of them, for sure. It's just unbelievable. He is actually just a utility mastermind over for NRG, you know? Why take the 50-50 gun duel if you can just delete someone from behind a wall? That's the easy strats there for you on the Sova. True. I love his name because it always sounds like European Union time to time. EU. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's always came to my mind first. Like, you, you can't have a discussion with him because it's always going to be EU versus NA. That's, that could actually But now good... e, EU is NA. It's, it's a, it's a bit confusing. I, I agree with you on that. <laughs> Well, okay. Well, Elevate Relicious this time play. they didn't take the orb, which is a bit interesting. Even after losing the first round, they want the element of surprise, but I almost feel like securing that orb is one of those small wins you can always take on the second round. When do they come through this smoke, though? Knock, knock. How patient are they? Because right now, Miniature is playing in there. The flash comes out right when the smoke dissipates. I love it. Yeah, and he's taken backside quite swiftly. I mean, even if he doesn't find the frack, he tacked him up more than enough. It's a spike who still hits the ground, and that's additional money, and that's a slight bit of pressure. They still have to retake the round that has now been controlled, at least temporarily, by Elevate. As Axel and Co. still try to hold it down, there seems to be high, not any too many chan chances. As you know, Axel seems to stumble upon the side as I stumble upon my words. Eighth round it is for NRG. Yeah, Exalt got a couple there. Not as successful, I think, as the second round on uh, the defensive side when they went really aggressive with that one, but still getting the plant is going to be a big win for them. You can see, though, Kohler has the run it back, and something we see all too often on defense with the Phoenix is, of course, using that to hop through the teleporter early in the round, get some info, potentially even get a kill playing off your flashes as well. So we'll keep our eyes on that as he's set up over towards B. Could be that quick teleport over outside of showers if they get info that sure. energy are playing towards a or rather elevate are playing towards a but this is the thing elevate as we saw in our previous round putting a few bucks down at the shop's Jump table and buying in that results in them right now having a bit of a problem obviously because they very much cannot afford themselves to get a possible seven <laughs> round run to away from phoenix <laughs> Due to the fact well, that they have invested in the previous. Do you think Kohler actually spotted uh, Biotic Rain right there? Because we saw like the end of it, he was like He's fading feeding. away. That yeah. would have been a close one to call. Uh, Maybe I don't got know. the I info. Don't think so. Hard to say. Yeah, I, I'm more in the camp too that it was just off timing there and it wasn't able to get anything. But that ultimate clears B for just a bit, but no doesn't get much more there. than that. He had to adjust his jacket before he could see him. <laughs> True. So, it's, it's about looking fresh, right? You know? True. The aim can't be clean if your look isn't, too. Do you think he his, his, his jacket is from Gucci or Prada? Well, it's uh, got holes in it now, so I think the resale value <laughs> on that is not going to be super high, no matter what designer brand it's from. <laughs> Very much true. Elevate once more, showing us that four spies, or even just those slight pistol ones, can be very effective. The train seems to be setting up for the B-side, and... Well, if there's any train stopper to it, we're going to find out in 30 seconds. 
Exalt does have access to the Rolling Thunder, but I think you hold off on that one until maybe in a post-plant. The round starts looking a little bit better. He's also going to go for the plant. So not oh, necessarily nope. getting an extra point. Good spam there it goes. through the smoke. EU one more time coming up big. Yeah, and right now it pretty much seems to be EU versus NA. It's Minager falling up next, and the Sova gets more bullets into the opponent's chest and heads Ooh. as Affy proves that sometimes the flicking can be valuable. Nine points. We're there. We'll see it from NRG. Is, as you say, they are up to nine rounds on defense. And Elevator are going to have to piece together a, a little bit better of an attack. Because we see a couple times, I mean, obviously that round just an eco. They're getting spammed through smokes. Not left. really using too much utility to, to secure the site. But they, they've gotten a lot of these entry kills and not been able to convert that into too much more in these right. rounds. You know, even playing things a little bit more slowly, haven't been able to find too much. So. Need to see them really be able to capitalize off of those early picks. Yes, this should do. And, and so far in this qualifier, we saw a miniature, you know, plays who plays more of those controllers really step up his game. Somewhere always between two, 250 and 300 average combat score on the maps played in this qualifier number two. So the rare miss of a shock dart. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny to see how many have been actually ineffective. Yeah, yeah, get a little uh, accuracy percentage on the shock darts. Love to see that as Elevate. They've got four over towards long, and they can just use the Rolling Thunder to completely eliminate any sort of pressure in that elbow area. EU, though, aye, aye, aye. out for blood. That's going to be one again, sniping out Biotic Rain. And that's the counterpart. This is the information that is now missing for Elevate for any kind of side they want to take. As it's ticking, EU finds another, and so they are just waiting, you know, taking care of the plants, watering them a little bit, giving them a slight oh. smoosh as they push out of long any second. I mean, I think that TP uh, from Daps is trying to bait out the counter TP because Effie's is right outside that Don't showers area, anything. ready Aww. for any TP, but some of the rest of the crew are just going to knock them down before they even get a chance. EU a three. It feels very much at this point that the system starts to collapse bit by bit. And, you know, that this very astute aggression that we saw from Elevate somehow can't be transferred when they are actually attacking. Because they can't get past someone really on the site. It seems always very compelling when we see them have the entry frag, but it doesn't really work from that point on. No, it hasn't. They are going to be forcing up here a lot of light armors on the loadout here from Elevate, but they desperately need rounds here. Don't want to risk this going over to 11 for NRG. So this is the round pretty much to decide the match, it would feel, for Elevate here. They're making a lot of noise as they move over towards the A site. Looks like the orb was picked up by Biotic Rain, so trying to really get that Hunter's Fury ready to go. Since then, it has slowed down with the utility, and there's a couple of trap wires on site they're going to have to worry about. It is a three stack over towards A4 NRG, so definitely waited for them. This is going to be a hard one to pull off. It is going to be a hard one to pull off. I fully, fully agree. I mean, because NRG aren't taking any risks, right? Like, what, right. What's, the, what's the point? You know, yeah, by now, even, we see the Phoenix move over towards A, so the Rolling Thunder is ready to be sent out, but... It's not, it's only really going to clear one player, I feel like. Only really that jet playing over towards triple. They do get good info with that one, and here they go. They're onto the site. Well, they pretty much forced them back into their own spawn, which was a slight advantage, but Daps is having none of that. Waits back into the corner, close to having to the right-hand side. Awaits the players to push in, awaits to get some frags, and he pretty much does. This is the 11th gained with ease. NRG are not sweating when they are waiting over there on the defense side. And one after another to pretty much make it look as clean as possible in Bind. I mean, Daps and Effie's right there, just cold as ice, you know? Like, you can't, oh, can't beat ice. them one by one by one. They keep taking their duels, and those players are just too clean right there. And no matter what Elevate tried to do, because they made so much early noise, NRG really took things slow over by the A site, really just allowed Elevate to enter all the way out of that sewer areas, didn't engage them any earlier than that. And I think that's exactly what you want to do when your opponent doesn't have a lot purchased. And now it's just going to be those sheriffs in the hands of Elevate. And one more time, now they now they don't even have the Rolling Thunder. So it's a huge loss for them coming into this potentially 12th round for NRG. Well, it seems like this brand new canvas that NRG got with the second half 
Seems we're already turned to something like Monet or a Picasso. Brilliant work Ooh. done so far. Actually, EU took so much damage. Look at that. He's, he's down to just True. one shot on that Sova. So are some tools to play with would mean that a good dart from Biotic Rain could lead into a Hunter's Fury, give him some info and... Miniature and Shooker have pushed up a short. They have some pressure towards the A side. The rest of Elevator are going to come out there, but they have to worry about the flank from Effies. Effies has gotten all the way out of sewers and is ready to really intercept anyone, whether it's the three stack coming back towards a short or just get that full flank on them. This could be deadly. <sighs> Yeah, talking about the full flank, it might just be not needed. As though Shooker finds EU, the man you mentioned at the beginning, who had a frustrating time with all the shock darts and all the bullets that came his way. It is Caller realizing, okay guys, a rotation towards B side is needed. I need your help right now. And Caller is gonna push through with his ult. Still remains back in CT. Information is there. 30 a quick seconds look left. on the top bar tells oh, us there's no ults that could open up a side easily at the moment. Yeah, well, they have the spike down, and with Biotic Rain having access to ult, you could play off-site. Instead, they are going to be trying to take some control. Three players over by elbow, and it's a good timing. With the flashbang out, Colder will drop, and now it's a three-on-three. I know exactly where you are. One Last enemy remaining. Standing. It's coming in. Oh, Biotic. Area. As he's at it right now. Diffuse has started, but no, it's not enough. Some halved it. And as it's going full, it's milliseconds, or more likely even 2.5, that separate them from the success. Yep, energy were able to bait the uh, the Hunter's Match Fury out point. a little bit too quickly. There was too much time on the clock. Tap that one, bait the ulti out, get off pretty easily. And again, they were better equipped for that round. That was as expected. But this is going to be a rough one for Elevate here. Wonderful thing, no wonderful thing to see, by the way, there on the scoreboard. No oh, major no differences. Left. When we talk about the statistics over on the energy side, nine frags separate the best from the worst, which, you know, is very often site dependent, situational dependent. Kohler's no real jokes. aggressive with this one. Oh, oh, oh he feels man. it! Oh, goodness gracious! Close, but not the you first. You gotta be kidding! He gets aye, two aye, right aye. there. Just takes all the wind out of Elevate Sail. Shooker can't even find anything on A-Short. Biotic Rain sitting here with 30 HP and a prayer. That's all he's got. One Shark Dart. Make that two. Make no that chance. 13 for NRG. Too easy. <sighs> and there it is.